Shalom. I would like to first start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashimi, Hawashai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations to the hopeful elect pushing this word in truth and sincerity. So I get to the confusion of faith that are waking up and to the sisters that listen and learn. My name is Yasharala, Great Millstone, Chicago, and this is a scripture of the day. This is the book of Jeremiah 28 and 8. And it reads, the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old both prophesy. Um, so I lost myself. The, the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. So, hey, that's what the prophets did. Jeremiah is saying that's what the prophets did before him, you know, of old. And that's what the prophets are doing to this day. When we go out there and teach, you know, we teach the word, um, the true word, the way it's supposed to be taught. Not like you get, you get in your churches, you get all the sweet, all the, all the smooth things, all, everything that sounds good. You know, but according to the scriptures, you know, the prophets, you know, they they prophesied against many countries and against great kingdoms. All right. And that's that's what uh, the men of the Great Millstone do. And the and the ones who have the like doc, the, the same doctrine, you know, we prophesy against many countries, against all these other nations that are not Israelites. The real Israelites are the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. So we prophesy against all these other countries, you know, like Moab, Ammon, the Chinese, Japanese, Ham, you know, so-called Africans, um, um, East Indians, Ishmael, you know, the 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 uh, Elam and uh, Ishmael, so forth and so on. And against great kingdoms. And what kingdom are we prophesying against right now? We're prophesying the downfall of America, which is known spiritually as Babylon and Egypt, which is Esau's kingdom. We're prophesying the, the downfall of Esau's kingdom. Okay. Of war, which is happening now. As a matter of fact, my, uh, my wife showed me an article. Let me see if I can find it of North Korea um was said launches um launches let me see I think it was their sixth missile Let's see if I can find the article uh But the point is, hold on, that's, that's not a, well, yeah, I guess it, you could say that. I was trying to find the one where it said, uh, you know, they, uh, they got their best nuclear uh, missile as of yet, you know. All right, so that's what's going on. Uh, of war, and we see that North Korea firing missiles um, J over Japan, testing their testing their uh, their their uh, nuclear capabilities. America, Donald Trump bombing the border of uh, like s the border of South Korea, trying to flex muscle. This place is gonna be destroyed by thermonuclear missile. They're getting ready to launch these missiles. It's only a matter of time. Really waiting for the RFID chip to be implemented, and everything else is gonna uh, it's gonna be a snowball effect. Okay, and it says end of evil. You know we prophesy evil. What do we prophesy? The evil to come. Evil meaning bad times. Bad times that are gonna happen. And what's that? Jacob's trouble. For you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. The scriptures say it's going to be a time like no other. 
You could take all the events in history, all the all the calamities and all the destruction and wrap it all up in one giant burrito. That's what's gonna happen during JT times. We were going into it on at the at camp the other day. You know, these women are gonna be eating their children, you know. Uh there's gonna be sedition of men, which we already see, you know. And of pestilence, right? Diseases. It's gonna be all types of diseases. Look uh look over there in um Houston. Okay. They tested the water and they found diseases in all that water. And and when you look on uh uh some of these Snapchat and Instagram videos, Jake out there all in there. Jake is Jake knows how to have a good time during their uh during a uh, a uh, uh, during um you know a, a tragic event like that like a flood they out there uh driving a boat not a boat driving a like a vehicle with with a with a float behind it and they're just there in their shorts they're on like little jet skis and stuff like having a good old time in that water there's pestilences there's diseases in that water you know and now the pestilence that's going to come um so the final pestilence is those nuclear uh, missiles, okay? So this is what the real prophets of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua are going to be doing. They're going to be doing what Jeremiah 28 and 8 says. They're not going to be just talking about, oh, love and this and, oh, God loves that. And, and all you hear is the good things, all the sweet, but you don't hear any of the bad things that are going to come any of the bitter stuff. You don't hear any of that stuff, okay? This is Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war, of war and of evil and of pestilence, okay? And that's what's coming to America. All of those things. War, evil, and pestilence. And with that, whoever was meant to be edified, I hope you were. Till next time, Shalom.